In this video, we'll be looking at how to find the surface area of a sphere and of a hemisphere. But before we start to find the surface area, it's important to note that the radius of a sphere is the line segment that goes from the center of the sphere to the sphere, to any point on the sphere. And the diameter of the sphere goes from one end through the center to the other end. All right, great. Now that we know that, now we're ready to figure out how to find the surface area of our sphere. Unfortunately, deriving this formula is a bit outside of the scope of a regular geometry class. So here's what I will say. In order to find the surface area of a sphere, let's call it S, the surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 times pi r squared. So kind of just think of four circles and how four circles would probably fit really well on our sphere. And that's how I try to remember the surface area of a sphere formula. All right, so now that we know how to find the surface area of a sphere, let's go ahead and try an example. Okay, so here we have a sphere, and as you can see, the radius is six centimeters. So in order to figure out the surface area of our sphere, we're going to go ahead and substitute into our formula, and we get 4 pi r squared, which is 4 pi times 6 squared. When you work that out, you should get 144 pi centimeter squared, which is approximately equal to, if you do it on your calculator, 452.2 centimeters squared. And that's how you find the surface area of a sphere. Now let's take a look at a hemisphere. Okay, so here we're looking at half a sphere, also known as a hemisphere. And I'm going under the assumption that my hemisphere is solid. So by saying it's solid, that means that this bottom is solid, you can touch it, and opposed to being open like a bowl, for example. So that is a part of the surface. The bottom of this hemisphere is a part of the surface. So the surface area of an entire sphere, I'll write down from what we just learned for an entire sphere, surface area is 4 pi r squared. But we're only dealing with half a sphere, so the surface area of the hemisphere that you're seeing right here, well, this part that I'm about to shade in blue, this part is half of the whole sphere, which is 2 pi r squared. However, that is not the entire surface area because there is a circular base. Now, since the circular base is, well, of course it's a circle, the area of a circle is pi r squared, so we actually have to add that pi r squared. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so the area of this hemisphere is in fact not 2 pi r squared, not 4 pi r squared, but 3 pi r squared. So just to reiterate, it's 3 pi r squared because we have that blue area right here, as well as this mystery color area at the bottom, <laughs> the circle at the bottom. All right, so now that we know that the surface area will be 3 pi r squared, all we have to do is go ahead and substitute our radius, and the answer will appear. So we have 3 pi, and our radius is 2.8, so 2.8 squared, it's 3 pi r squared, and that should give you approximately, so let's make that approximate, 73.89 centimeter squared. And that's how you find the surface area of a hemisphere.